Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So once a year, I find myself doing this video. I did it two years ago, and then I did it last year on the same time, and then this year I'm doing it right now, obviously. Um, but I feel like once a month I get a comment on one of my videos like requesting a perfume collection video, or I'll get a comment on one of the old ones like, oh, uh, updated perfume collection video. And honestly, if there's one thing I love more than makeup in life, it's perfume. I say this all the time on my channel. I obsess over perfume. I'm constantly looking at new scents, buying new scents, this, that. Like, I just love smelling good. It's just like, it's my signature thing. Like, people are gonna be like, oh, like, she smells really good. Like, that's like my goal in life when it comes to perfume because I love it so much. So I'm going to show you guys an updated collection. I'm going to link my video from two years ago down below and then the video from last year down below. The video from last year is pretty similar to like my entire collection because I'm going to be showing you in this video what I've purchased since that video, if that makes sense. So any perfumes that I purchased after I filmed that video are going to be in here. And for the most part, if I'm thinking correctly, I pretty much have almost everything that I had in this video, uh, in that video currently. Am I making sense? Am I confusing you guys? Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling because I get a lot of comments. Oh my god, you ramble too much. So I'm going to stop. We're going to get into the video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe and let's get into the perfumes. So I fangirl over KKW fragrance. I really love Kim's fragrance line. Like there's only been one or two that I've tried that I'm like, like no, but then most of them like I really, really like. So that's pretty much like I'm looking at this collection. That's really what's dominating this video right now. So I'm going to start with those so i'm gonna start so i'm gonna start with this one this is her collab with kendall this is the olive one i'm pretty sure this is what it looks like this smell it's very like i want to say woodsy but like this is not like any perfume that i own and every time i wear this and i smell it throughout the day i'm like oh my God, I smelled all three of them, and this one was my favorite. This one smells very, like, woodsy, woodsy, nighttime, like, sexy, but kind of, like, girly at the same time. God, it just is so amazing, and the only downfall to this is that you do kind of have to spray a lot of it to get it to last throughout the day. Like, you, this isn't, like, a one-two type of spray perfume. Like, no, you're going to have to spray, like, three, four. Like, I even go, like five, six sometimes just because I want this to last all day. And when I do overdo it with the sprays, it does last a really, really long time. This is a beautiful perfume. If you don't like fruity scents, but you like more like deeper, like nighttime -y scents, this is definitely for you. Check this one out. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the KKW Heart Collection because that one I really, really, really enjoy. It's one of my favorites. So I have the three like original ones that she came out with, Bay, Wifey, and BFF. My sister actually got these for me for my birthday, so I'm gonna start with my favorite. My favorite is Bay. Her packaging is always A1. Like, I just wanna say, love her Hey Kim Kardashian. Her packaging, when it comes to her perfumes, it's always just like exquisite. Like, it's just beautiful and I love it. This one, oh my God, this reminds me of like being a little girl. This is like definitely not like a mature, like woman sound. Like if you like mature scents, this this collection, like these ones are not it. These are very like, they remind me of cotton candy. Like all three of them, whenever I think of like how I would describe them, I would describe them like cotton candy. And I'm not sure if it's because like blue cotton candy, pink cotton candy, like if that's why I'm thinking that, but they're just so fruity and fun and like girly. Like these are what I think of if like you want to give like your daughter like her first perfume or something like that. Something like this isn't too strong where like it's like sexy or something, but it's just enough where it's fruity and delicious and oh my god, I love this one the absolute most. Oh my god, there's just something in this. I'm looking to see if there's any notes. No, there's no notes. I will try my best to link the notes like underneath. Um, I'll put these in, in the description. I'll put like the notes of each fragrance next to each perfume so you guys know if you guys really know like scents like that I will do that for you guys but I love this perfume and again packaging is so stinking cute if you were interested in something that's not going to be too too like womanly but definitely like fruity and girly in daytime this collection is definitely for you so now I'm going to move on to BFF oh my god 
This one reminds me of cotton candy. I don't know why, and I think it's because of the pink packaging, <laughs> like, but this one is definitely fruitier than Bay. Like, this is very, very, very fruity in my opinion. Yeah, these are all like daytime scents. Like, if you want a good daytime scent, these are going to be for you because they're so light and they're so like fruity. I wouldn't say they're florally in any way. These are definitely more like on the fruitier side. I love them. This one smells so good and they do last really, really good. Oh, I just love them. And then Wifey. I wear Wifey a lot. So when I smell it, like when I'm smelling it right now, like I'm not like, oh my God, I need this. Like, no. But when I wear it and it mixes with like my body chemistry and stuff and like other uh, body mists that I'm wearing, it smells so good. It just kind of like transforms. Like you can still tell that you're wearing this perfume, but it doesn't smell like how it smells like right now. You know what I'm saying? Like it's different when it mixes with your body chemistry. This one is less fruitier, but like it's still up there in the fruity like department in my opinion, but definitely not as fruity as BFF and Bay. BFF is way fruitier. Yeah, like way, way fruitier. And then Bay. Bay is a little bit toned down and toned down in the fruity department. This is definitely like super, super fruity. This is a little toned down. And then this, I, in my opinion, doesn't have any like fruitiness to it. I'm not sure like what the notes are in any of these, but like I said before, I will have all of that down below for you guys so you guys can see. But 10 out of 10, definitely recommend this wifey collection, the BFF, her original heart collection. I love it so much. Pretty much have every single one of her heart perfumes except for her silver one. So I'm going to move on to the next two. This is KKW Gold Heart. These are very, very metallic. The other ones were matte. These are very metallic. This one is just straight vanilla in my opinion. This one smells like vanilla mixed with something else to make it a little bit stronger. But this, when I smell this, I'm like, mm -hmm. this is 1000% like vanilla. Oh my God, it smells so good. This is a definite like softer scent. It's way different than the other ones and Wifey, Bay, and BFF, like totally opposite direction. These, these next two are like, they are nowhere in the same category in my opinion. They're very, very, very opposite. This one smells amazing, but my favorite, my absolute favorite, if I had to pick one out of all of the heart collection, it would be the rose gold one. This one, it just, it's like mature, sexy, long lasting. It's nighttime. It's just, oh my God. Like when I smell this, I'm just like in a trance. It smells that freaking good. It is so good. If I had to recommend one to you guys, it is 1000% this one. This one is the strongest out of all of them, so if you are sensitive to smells, you may be a little bit sensitive to this because it is a very, very strong perfume and a strong scent, but 10 out of 10 recommend this out of all of them. Like I said, if I had to pick one, I would definitely, without a question, pick the rose gold one just because it's so just good. I could wear it as an everyday perfume, even though in my opinion, in my opinion, it's more like a nighttime perfume, but I would wear it every single day because it smells that good. So up next, I got this one for my birthday from my friend Nicole. This is KKW or Kim, yeah, KKW X Chris. So this is her collab with her mom. I spoke about this in my recent All Gets Favorites video. This is a very, I just like slapped it on my nose. This one is a very acquired scent. This scent is not for everybody. Like you may smell this and be like, oh, why does she even like that? Like that's the type of scent it is in my opinion. I feel like it's a very specific type of person. It's very, very gardenia, like very. It's very similar to, let me show you, her original, original perfume, the uh, Crystal Gardenia one. It's very, it's very similar, but this one is a little bit more fruitier. And then this one is way stronger, like way more gardenia. So if you don't like gardenia and you don't like older scents like this is definitely like a mature scent so if you're somebody that's into fruitier scents this is not going to be for you i personally love it because i love gardenia but i know it's not for everybody but this is totally opposite of like the last perfumes that i spoke about completely in the opposite direction like way off of like 
the radar, like not even in the same category. It's so opposite, but it smells really, really good. And this packaging is so cute. This top alone, like it can knock somebody out. Like if this falls on your head or you throw this at somebody, like this is going to like really do some damage. Like this packaging is serious, but I really, really enjoyed it. Okay, so now moving on to, these are the last two from Kim, right? Okay, these are the last two from KKW. So this is the Diamond Collab with her sisters. This one is, wait, hold on. This one's Chloe's. This one is my absolute favorite. I did have all three, but I finished the red one. That one was Courtney's. That one was like, okay, like I wouldn't repurchase that one. Like if I had to, I wouldn't. I would definitely like, these two are my favorite, Kim's and Chloe's, but the blue one, Chloe's, it's a very soft scent, but sexy, if that makes sense. It's very, very, mm, I think it's so wearable. I think that this would smell good on anybody because it's such a, like, a softer scent. Like, it's just, oh my god, there is something about this perfume, you guys. Like, I can't even, like, describe it to you. It smells amazing. It's so soft and so sexy. Like, it's just, oh, it's perfection in a bottle one of my favorites this one is kim's this one is actually my sister's favorite she obsesses over this perfume this one is a lot stronger than the chloe one. Oh my god i have like freaking dog hair all over me right now oh my god this one is a lot stronger than the chloe one but soft at the same time this is more like powdery in my opinion this is definitely more of like a powdery um, perfume than this one. This one is very powdery, stronger, but soft at the same time. Definitely more daytime for sure. This one is way more nighttime, definitely sexier. This one is way more daytime. I do love them both. The crystal, I always call this the crystal line. The diamond collection is one of my favorite collections from her. I have loved every single one that I've tried. The Courtney one, I liked it. I wasn't obsessing over it, but like I would wear it if I had it, if that makes sense. I'm going to move on to my more affordable perfumes. This one is an OG one. Like this one is from like back in the day, like 2007, 2008, like around that time. I recently purchased it because I wanted to feel like nostalgia and I wanted to wear it, but I'm so disappointed because it does not last. Like I spray it and then five minutes later, I'm like, did I even spray anything? Like it's so disappointing because it's such an OG good scent. This is Paris Hilton's perfume in the scent. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is Eris. Oh my god, if you know, you know. This is like the weirdest smelling perfume in my opinion. Like it's so weird, but it's so good at the same time. I think it's because like I have such like an attachment to it from when I was younger and when I used to wear it like when I was in middle school and stuff. Like that's why like I love it so much, but it's a very weird scent. I don't know if that's just me. Like, I think it's very weird. Like, it's just, it's a stranger scent. It's definitely strong. And if you're sensitive to smells, this is definitely not, not for you. It's a strong perfume, but it doesn't last. So that's really, really disappointing. But yeah, it's just a weird scent. Like, I'm sure most of you guys know about this perfume and I've worn it at some point in your lives. I actually find that, that the body spray last longer than this. I have the body spray and I obsess over it. I love it so much, but this is so disappointing because I wish that it would last longer, but sadly it does not. The next perfume is another perfume from back in the day. I used to wear this in like my sophomore, junior year of high school, around there. This is from PacSun. This is the scent Noli, or yeah, N-O-L-L-I. I'm pretty sure it's Noli. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, but this one, this is so fruity. This used to be in different packaging. It used to be in the round bottle with like the green around it. If I can find a picture, I'll like try to post it here for you guys so you guys can see. But this brings me back to high school 1000%. Like I'm back like in the courtyard, hanging out with my friends, like doing that thing. Like every time I smell this, oh, it smells so good. This is such a fruity, and a florally scent in my opinion. Oh my God. The one thing with this, it's not as long lasting as I would like it to be. I go through this like water because I use this for work. This is a pretty inexpensive perfume. It's like 20 bucks. Um, so I purchased one probably like once every two months around there. I use this perfume a lot. I love it so freaking much. Like I said, I wear it to work a lot of the time, but 
It doesn't last that long. So like if I spray it in the morning by like mid-afternoon, like I'm not gonna smell it anymore. And it's so disappointing. I wish they would make more of like an intense version of this because I would purchase a million of them because I love this scent so, so, so much. But that's definitely more of like a fruitier, florally scent in one. It's so, oh my God, it's perfection. So I have two from Ariana Grande. I have recently in the last few months become obsessed with her perfumes. I don't know why I overlooked them for so long. I was just kind of like, oh, those are like little girl perfumes. Why am I gonna smell them? And then I smelt one and I was like, hold on. I'm gonna talk about the one that made me fall in love with her perfumes. This is Ari by Ariana Grande, just A-R-I. This one, oh my God. I need a minute. This perfume is one of my all-time favorite perfumes. It's so freaking good. Every person that smells this perfume loves this perfume. Like my sister has bought in it. My other sister is obsessed with it. My friend Michelle, when she was visiting, I sprayed it and she was like, oh my God, like what are you wearing? I spoke about this in my July favorites. I'm not 100% sure, but I know I have spoke about this in a video over the last few months. You guys, this is very, very, very fruity. Like this is so fruity and so good. If you guys want a good fruity scent, but not like over the top, like overbearing, this is the scent for you. I promise you. Like I promise you. I would say if I had to pick one perfume out of all of these, I would pick this one, but that would be a lie because there's one other one or two other, I can't even say that. I can never pick one perfume. Like I'm such like a perfume junkie, like, but if I had to recommend an Ariana Grande perfume to you, this is definitely it. Start out with this one because it's just so beautiful. Like, it's definitely more of, like, a daytime, like, summery scent. But listen, I will wear this all year round. I do not care. But I'm trying to describe it best for you guys so you guys get, like, an understanding of it. This is such a good perfume. And it's so freaking cute. I want to let you guys in on a little tip. Do not buy these perfumes at Ulta. They are... 10 to 15 dollars cheaper at Walgreens for the same exact size. So if you guys were interested in purchasing Ariana Grande perfumes, do not buy them at Ulta because they will rip you off because they are so much more expensive at Ulta for no reason when just go to walgreens.com, type in Ariana Grande, put in your zip code, see which are sold at the ones near you and go and purchase them at Walgreens. You will be saving 10 to 15 dollars. That is a little hidden tip that I'm sure you guys didn't know about, but yeah, definitely check out this one, it's so, so good. So now, this other one, I got it for my birthday from my friend at work. This is Sweet Like Candy, and let me tell you, this one is Sweet Like Candy. This reminds me of Cabbage Patch dolls and Barbie dolls just kind of pushed into a perfume, and literally, it, this is exactly what it is, Sweet Like Candy. It is a very sweet perfume. It's definitely fruity, but the other one, the Ari one, is way more fruitier than this, but this is a very sweet perfume. Oh, I love it so, so, so much. I love it almost as much as I love this one. This one I love a little bit more because I like the overall fragrance of this one better, but this one is really, really good too. This is the original one that she came out with. I think this was like the first perfume that she released, and now she has like seven of them. Like she has these two, then she has Cloud, which is a really, really good one. She has Thank You Next, Thank You Next 2.0, God is a Woman, and then I think she has like another one. Like I'm not 100% sure, but she has a lot of perfumes, you guys. Like she has a lot. Um, this one is really, really good. If you like more of like a sweeter scent, definitely check out this one, but this one is my favorite. So now we're moving on to my really, really expensive perfumes. This one is from, okay, this one I actually didn't buy. My grandma gave it to me because her friend worked at Macy's and it was going out of business, so she had perfumes to give away. So she gave this to my grandma. My grandma gave it to me. She was like, this reminds me of you. So she gave it to me. This is, do you guys know this perfume? Like, I'm sure you guys have seen this perfume. This is Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Now this is, I'm gonna spray a little bit, is a very, oh, just sexy, let me just put this on. This is a nighttime scent, like this is, I have arrived, like I am here, like smell me, embrace me, like this is, if you wanna be that bitch, this is the perfume that you wear. It is so good, this perfume is way, 
way, way too expensive. Like I definitely wouldn't have purchased it if I hadn't got it for free. But now that I have it, like I can't imagine my collection without it because when I'm going out or I'm going like somewhere where I want to just be like sexy and stuff, this is the perfume that I'm wearing. It is so, so, so good. They have Good Girl, Good Girl Intense. I'm not 100% sure what the difference between all of them is. Like there's a few different heels. Now there's a red heel that just came out. Like, and they're all called Good Girl, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not <laughs> sure what's going on there, but this is the original Good Girl. So, so, so good. I love it. It's very mature and sexy and definitely like night out material, for sure. Next perfume is brand new to my collection. Like I literally just got it in the mail last week. My friend at work was wearing it and I was like, oh my God, what are you wearing? Like you smell amazing. And she told me and I told my boyfriend that he ordered it for me. This perfume, I posted it on my IG story last week. And yeah, because I only, I've only had it like a week. This is by Jean-Paul Gaultier. I think this is brand new. Like I'm pretty sure this is like brand, brand new. Uh, the Sense Labelle, I'm pretty sure. So Jean-Paul Gaultier Labelle. This is what the packaging looks like. Like I said, I posted it on my IG stories and I was like, don't ask questions. Just go and get it. You guys. This is my favorite out of all of them. This perfume is like, I can't even describe it. It's fruity and florally, but strong and sexy and just, oh my effing God. Like I can't, this is such a good perfume. I love the packaging too. Like it's so, like this just screams like, okay, sexy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. This perfume smells amazing. It, like I said, it's very fruity, florally, sexy. Like it's just everything you want to be in a bottle. Seriously. Like this is such, I can't even say enough good things about this besides like go to Macy's because I'm pretty sure it's only sold at Macy's or Nordstrom's. Go to Macy's or Nordstrom's, smell this. Let me know what you think. Thank me later because this perfume needs to go viral because it's that good. Like you guys need to make this perfume sell out because everybody needs to know about it because it's so good. I don't even, never even heard of Jean-Paul Gaultier until my friend told me about it. And I was like, what? Like, who is that? And I, I've come to find out it's like a designer, obviously. But this perfume is a hundred out of 10. Like I can't even say enough good things about it. Like I said, if I had to pick one perfume, I'm looking over at my collection. If I had to pick one perfume out of every single perfume in this room right now, I would pick this one. And that is saying a lot because I have about 50 bottles of perfume. So, hey guys, so that is everything I have for you in this video. This is my 2021 updated perfume collection. Like I said, I will link my 2019 and then my 2021 down below for you guys. I also have a video of all of my KKW fragrances. I spoke about most of them in this video, but there are a few that I didn't speak about because I've already spoken about them in my other videos. So I will link that down below for you. I, in that video, I rank them from my least favorite to my favorite KKW perfume. So I will have that video linked down below for you guys. But yeah, so that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Please do not forget to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me your perfume recommendations. Like I cannot ask you guys enough to leave me your perfume recommendations. Like I said in the beginning of this video, if there's one thing I love more than makeup, it is definitely perfume. So leave me all of your recommendations down below. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe and I'll hopefully catch you guys in my next video. Bye.